chairing a meeting, or making a presentation all fall within normal job requirements. So just about everybody has to do something like this at one time or another. Speaking to an audience can be fun and exciting. However, lack of preparation or not clearly defining the speech's goals and its audience can make even the best intended talk a complete disaster. Okay, so, all right, let's take a look. So what, we're, what are we talking about here? We're talking about talking to people who have come to listen to you. Or taking over, chairing, being the chairman of a meeting or something, right, in your company. But we need to do some preparation for this, whatever kind it is, or else it may become a disaster. And in this case, one meaning of disaster is complete failure, right? You don't do what you plan to do. Okay, so let's see. Here is our agenda for this lesson. We're going to talk a little bit about preparation and structuring the speech and speaking for clarity and impact and visual aids to help us and even arranging the room and rehearsals and then we have some tips or techniques for success and we also have a checklist to make sure everything is done before your speech is started. Okay. So first, the keys of our speech making. One is preparation. And the first thing we want to do is state our objectives. To ensure your speech is effective, first determine your objective or your goal, right? So you can ask yourself, why am I giving the presentation? And what do I want the audience to take away from the speech? And who is my audience? And the familiarity with the presentation topic will determine the level at which you present your speech. Okay, so what do I want the audience to take away? Or what do I want them to remember in this case? Okay, so when we use it this way, it means remember. So, and how well they are familiar with the topic determines how you'll present it. Okay, so if they don't know much about it all, you have to you have to speak more in the basic terms. And if they're all a bunch of experts, you can become very complicated and detailed during your speech. Okay, so once you've determined your presentation's objective and overall goal, as well as who the audience is, it's time to structure your presentation. You'll need to start this process by determining the length of the presentation. This is something that people may not think of. How long is the presentation, or how long are you going to speak, or how long do you have to speak? All right, so you take the allotted time and break it into smaller segments, with each segment tackling a specific task, all of which reflect the overall objective of the presentation. Okay, so how much time we have is called the allotted time, right? The time we have to use. Okay, so if you don't have a lot of time, if there are a lot of speakers at one time and they only give you a certain amount, okay, we have to break that down into segments or parts, right? Give each part of your speech a certain time limit, right? And then each segment will tackle a specific task, okay, tackle is a verb we use a lot in sports, okay, especially American football. But here it means to focus on something, right? Or take take charge of something, right? So each segment will